channel talks with TJ if you haven't already and you have come to this channel first off thank you second subscribe please I am trying to definitely hit at least 300 subscribers by the end of June let's see if we can make sure that we hit that all right so let's get this started now this is gonna be a shorter video I'm hoping right like a lot of mine can run long I'm gonna try to make this a short one and this is just gonna be a little bit of a tip for you when it comes to managing money and it has to do with just, you know, overcoming kind of that urge to spend money that you're sitting on that you know is meant for something else, like an extra debt payment. Truth of the reality is we all, you know, will hit that point where we're trying to be super responsible. We have the money planned in our head to set aside for an extra debt payment. But just because that money is set aside for that, it doesn't mean that it necessarily goes towards that, right? Like, I think we've all maybe been guilty about that. We set something aside to be responsible, and then a want kind of takes over our willpower, our self-control, and next thing you know, we have a new something, but we didn't do what we were supposed to do with our money. I want to go ahead, and I'm going to help you overcome zero self-control with money, okay? First off, when you make a budget, you need to make sure that you make it prior to the actual month, so you can plan out in your head how you plan on spending your money. We do that in our household. I know it seems taboo for some people, but we know exactly what we're gonna spend our money on prior to the month even arriving. That helps you have a plan that doesn't, you know, that allows you to not just go in blind based on when you get your money and you just spend it as it comes in and you pray that you have enough at the end of the month. That's not good, that's not cool, don't do that, okay? Truth, again, like I said, I want stuff, there is there are many times, okay? So the amount that, just to put things in perspective for you lately, the amount that I spend on sneakers, when you guys see me post sneaker videos, that's truthfully, uh, I end up spending, or we I should say as a household, we end up spending like seven and a half times that sometimes, just towards minimum, just towards debt payments, like extra debt payments, okay? So, don't think that I don't have in the back of my mind the amount of stuff that I can get with that money, but we're doing what we need to do now so that in the future we can do much more than we would like to do. But how do you overcome that? First off, like I said, the number one thing you need to do is make sure you have a budget before the month actually starts, okay? I would also say then the second thing you need to do is plan out some wants that you know that you're going to have on your list. Now, you may not be able to get every single want because none of us, a lot, I'm not going to say none of us, a lot of us can't get every single want, but just have a list of some things that you may want to do that month so you can factor them into your budget, all right? That's just, you got to plan. Plan for that. Third thing, let's say you know that you have $100 extra this month that you're going to put towards debt. And it can be less, it can be more. I really don't care. I just want you to make the effort to put something towards the debt balances that you have so that you can get out of that debt. Just think about it. Whatever minimum payment that you have to pay every single month now, for some of us that have student loans, that can be as low as $350 a month. That can be as high as like 1000 a month. I know some people that are paying $1,000 a month towards their student loan balances just as the minimum you know, principal and interest payments. What if you didn't have to send that off to somebody every single month? Then imagine what you could do with that money. A lot. So, let's say you got $100 for the month that you want to spend extra towards debt. Immediately, as soon as you get paid, write the check, submit the payment. I don't care how you need to go ahead and just send that off towards that debt principal balance. Go ahead and do that. Don't sit on that money. Don't wait on it because do you know what happens? It burns a hole in your pocket. And then there's always going to be something that comes up that you want to do. Friends will invite you somewhere. There'll be a new restaurant opening in town. There'll be a new sneaker dropping. There'll be new clothes that are dropping. You know, we are entering into that glorious season, you know, when it comes to clearance items if you are a college fan because a lot of colleges are trying to get rid of stuff from their you know, last season to make way for the new football season and the new basketball season. So, like, this I'm pretty sure is on sale now. Now, like on Fanatics and Emden and it might even be on sale Nike.com that's where I got this one from a little while ago so you know you got to plan ahead for that because if not you're gonna get sucked into the one and then that money that you had set aside for debt it's gone it's finished there's nothing you can do about it I mean it sucks I don't want you to end up in that position so you got to overcome the zero self-control by immediately planning that you're gonna make an extra debt payment and then making it immediately like you guys uh, I don't know like if you follow me on Instagram then a lot of times I will post on my story when I'm heading to the bank to go make an extra principal payment on my vehicle and kind of showing you guys that journey of completely having the car paid off which is the goal so yeah that's definitely the goal can't wait for that to happen so hopefully 
you guys can get something out of this and overcome this and maybe, maybe zero self-control that you have when it comes to taking care of business with money. You just have to you, it, you have to do what's extremely difficult and against what you may want so in the future you can do crazy, crazy things with your money. You can do whatever. I mean, if you want to get to that point, you may not be there now, but if you want to get to that point where maybe you want to buy a release every single weekend and not have to stress about it, still have money piling up in the bank and savings, like, you can do that. Like, let's say you freed up $1,000 a month because you've paid off all of your debts. Okay. If you wanted to go drop 500 on sneakers or even 700 on sneakers every single month, and let's say you were investing 300 a month or you were saving 300 a month or if you only did five and five, you spent spent 500 on sneakers and you say 500 a month like either way whatever the case may be you can do it you just have to make a plan for it that's all i'm saying hopefully you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up and i will check you guys later thanks